The weather here in Richmond, Virginia, has been like a bad April Fool's joke. It's supposed to practice at 8. We had a lightning hold. They said, let's just qualify, and then the rains came. And as you can see, it's going to be around a while. So NASCAR has made the decision to cancel both the practice and qualifying sessions for NASCAR Xfinity Series today. We're scheduled to race later on this afternoon. You hate this because there's so many good young drivers that we're going to be going after this place, some of them for the very first time. I, I think of a guy like Sammy Smith. First lap on the racetrack is going to be at the front of the field now as he goes off into turn one. A lot for those guys to think about. And, and we talked earlier about how important this practice was going to be. Now the mentality has to shift, right? They've got to change gears very quick when they're in those haulers. Now they got to think about the race and what they're going to have to do to get through these early laps. You may mentioned Sammy Smith. When it all begins later, he's literally going to have a front row seat with qualifying washed out. Here is the new lineup front row, Allgaier and Smith. Yeah, and I think uh, Sammy's the one, uh, Justin Allgaier, a veteran, right? He's won here. He knows this racetrack very well. Sammy Smith's the guy that I'm going to be watching. How far do you go into the corner? You don't even know what you're going to do when you get down to turn one. You look on back through the top ten. Keep an eye on row five. Brandon Jones trying to get things going at Junior Motorsports alongside John Hunter Nemechek. I would say you could make the favorite today. Yeah, I think John Hunter, with his experience at this racetrack and with what we've seen, his body of work in the past, last year, nearly winning this race in a battle that went right down to the end. He's somebody that I'm going to be excited to see. We mentioned Sammy Smith, Derek Krause in row six, making his Xfinity Series debut driving the 10 car that won last week with A.J. Allmendinger behind the wheel and row 10, Parker Kligerman. I, I hate that he's back there. Going to be fun to watch him drive through the field. Parker Kligerman, always fun to watch him, and we know that he's got enough experience as well to make, make his way through the field. Austin Hill back there with a muscle. Austin Hill, somebody that's going to make a show out of it. And he's won every other race this year. Didn't win this last week. Every other right now. <laughs> It could be his turn today. Kaz Grala in row 11 with Cole Custer. Custer, another driver, didn't finish great last week. Has got a lot of ground to make up, but he's won here before. You know, and when you look at an old, worn-out racetrack, that's when we think about Cole Custer more. So I wouldn't expect him to stay back there very long. And, and let's be honest, that's the team that needs to get some momentum rolling forward as the season progresses here. Custer made his first ever start in the Xfinity Series right here 2016, finished inside the top 10. Here's the rest of the field. Greg Alden, row 16 with Alex LeBay, the Canadian Gray, a native of Virginia. He'd love to have a good performance later this afternoon. With qualifying rained out, Dawson Cram, and ironically enough, Kyle Weatherman <laughs> fails to make the race today <laughs> with that new team. Here's what's on tap the rest of the day. It's all NASCAR all the time on FS1. Cup practice qualifying at 10 a.m. Eastern time. That follows a weekend edition of NASCAR Race Update.